The stage is set, and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup Final? Stay right here on EA TV for all the live action. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Italy. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Ruben Neves plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Leonardo Bonucci plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today, Ciro Immobile. And the match begins. Federico Chiesa. Barella. Barella. No possibilities inside the box. Immobile. Verratti. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well. But they're here and they have a well-earned track record as winners. Well, you're absolutely right, but I think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on. They've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch. They're good tactically, they've been fit, and I think they've got every chance of being the world champions here, but they're going to have to play well. Chiesa, can he get them in front? Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Bruno Fernandes, Otavio now. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Alessandro Bastoni. Lorenzo Insigne, good movement. Immobile, he read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates. 
just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Lorenzo Insigne. He's in with a chance. Well, a textbook interception. And the pass could do damage. Bruno Fernandes. Could be. What a vital intervention. Lorenzo Insigne. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. He's moved away from the touchline. Insigne. Otavio. Ronaldo. Portugal pushing forward with options available. But the danger averted for now. Jorginho. Verratti now. Kiro Immobile. Promising looking ball. Can he give them the lead? Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. They take it short. Varela must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Now well, the pass not finding its target. Verratti. On to Insigne. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. And over it comes. And the problem not completely solved. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Verratti. And back with Insigne. Bonucci. Textbook defending inside the box. Can they hit on the break? Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. And Italy will get the throw in. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. And Portugal get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Jorginho. Immobile now. Verratti. Back with Immobile. Chiesa. And reading it absolutely superbly. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Bernardo Silva. 
Bruno Fernandes. Well, the supporters think it's on. Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, the equaliser. Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Joao Felix. Ottavio now. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Ottavio. Return to Neves. He has time to play it over. Ronaldo Silva. It has to be. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And the managers will now deliver their half time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Spinazzola. Ciro Immobile. Really good interception. Plenty of support here. A classic example of how to intercept. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Chiesa. Now with Verratti. Could take the lead. Silva. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Bernardo Silva losing out to his opponent. Marco Verratti. Verratti! Couldn't grab hold of it. Oh, it's in! They take the lead here. And just how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Ruben Neves. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Leonardo Spinazzola. Jorginho. 
Ciro Immobile. I must say, this looks promising. Chiesa. Oh, Chiesa! Is it going to be? Gravassi. Immobile! He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. Well, they've decided to make a change. And short it is. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Fernandes. Ronaldo untidy with the ball. Immobile. Now with Jorginho. Verratti. Insigne. And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. Trying to pick out a teammate. It hasn't come to very much. Jorginho. Jorginho! That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Now sending it in. Corner again. And played short. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, the corner right on the back of the last one. They favoured a short one here. Well, this control let him down badly, and it's going to be a goal kick. Lorenzo Insigne, and they have possession again. Leal, oh, in with a chance! Can't miss, surely! Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So underway again at 2 all. Just 15 minutes remaining. Lorenzo Insigne and return to Immobile did well to win the ball back 
Ruben Neves racing forward trying to catch them out can they keep it going that's the kind of shielding play you expect from him and possession given away Chiro Immobile on the attack is this to be late drama Insigne on to Varela and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end Bruno Fernandes here's Ronaldo Rafael Leao can he find the right pass well the supporters think it's on real chance oh a goal and how important can that be maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final a huge moment Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And we've entered the final five minutes. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Immobile. Just the challenge that was required. And the substitution will occur now. the situation defensively and did his job and the counter looks on here options available can they take advantage of the situation must be goalkeeper in charge of the situation if they can score again from this corner it probably would be the end of the story But he's gone short with it. Leal. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Domenico Berardi. Showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Ruben Dias. It's with Ruben Neves. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions! And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved, best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach, he's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.